Hi, welcome to Thunder Show and the freshest moments of the past week. This episode is about the battle between the skies and the ground. Who will win, tankers or pilots? Let's see. The first move is made by the ground vehicles. The Kugelblitz driver is aiming at the approaching Japanese plane. Almost there, so close, fire! Wait, what was that? Where did this one come from? Well, whatever, the Japanese aircraft was hit too. Good start. The ground forces kick off with a double frag. Let's see what the pilots have to offer. Andrilp is taking the same care aiming their Phantom's Mavericks at the anti-air, sending one for each of them. A short wait and no less than four Tunguskas blow up in such a sink that it feels staged. A real dance of fire and smoke. Neat. Okay, everyone knows how to destroy stuff, but how about preventing it? Our next winner surely has the know-how. Somehow they managed to pick out a barely visible dot of a bomb and knock it down before it hit the ground. It could have been a fluke if they did it once, but no, this champ intercepted three FAB 5000 bombs in a single battle. Just imagine how many allies they saved considering the mighty caliber of those bombs. On the other hand, you know, a pilot's worst enemy is another pilot. Here's the Eel 28 trying to end a battle with a nuke, and out of the blue, a wild pyrolite appears on their mauler. One good volley, and they're down. Okay, stopping a nuke is a nice feat on its own, but then another nuke carrier takes off, and the mauler downs it too, ignoring the incoming fire. You shall not pass. Oof, the battle's getting too hot and confusing. Heilige Heinrich here has an eel, which must mean they're a pilot. Although, they use a bomb to knock down an enemy thunderbolt, then attack ground vehicles with cannons, and then they land to finish off their target. It's a shame that the wing got caught in a tree, but the turret gunner couldn't care less anyway. Plus two frags. And now let's check out Live War Thunder for some peace and quiet. Look at this camo for the leopard too. Mm, it's so soothing, so green, so spotty. A real relaxing treat for us. Thank you so much, Comrade Reaper. One more thing. You know, it's such a magical moment. A game that's all about fighting and destruction managed to grow an entire community of people interested in creating things. Skins, missions, sounds, models. We're so happy to see your work. And of course, don't forget about insane replays. Looking forward to them. Bye.